Hello, everyone. Authentic Kingdom Ambassador is back sharing with you this video about authentic, healthy aspirations. What that means is the aspirations about your desires, your aim, your longing, your hope, your ambitions. And it's coming with the topic, loose your noose. Now you may ask what that is, and we are getting right into it just now. Now a noose is a loop in a rope which tighten when pulled. And that comes from the online Oxford Dictionary. It's a snare, a loop with a running knot. It's used to trap animals or to hang people. And you may see a picture of it there, I have found. And one end of a rope tied to form a circle that can be tightened around something or a person's neck to hang. And that comes from dictionary.com, dictionary.org. So that's really what a noose is. You may be familiar with it. It's a rope tied in that way and it can be tightened and it's tightened to trap or to hang persons. Now the background of the noose is the purpose of the noose is to snare, to trap, to strangle or to kill. And loose your noose is saying to us tonight to untie your snare, release your trap, liberate self and save your life because the noose is designed to kill. Now, who made this noose or who manipulates your noose? Let's get the facts. The noose, as we said, is one of the most murderous and dangerous weapons intended to kill. What is the problem is that most people do not pay attention to it. And if you should name your nose, perhaps you may not find a name, but we need to understand that everyone, perhaps uh, everyone has a nose. But what is it that makes you feel uncomfortable in your mind? What is it that tightens around your neck and makes you feel like you are just not going to make it? You're just not going to have what you're looking out for. What is it that confuses your mind? What is it that depresses you? What is it that is causing you that constant headache that you can't solve? You're not resolving, but you keep worrying about it. You can't do anything about it except worry. What is it that is tightening your chest, causing that anxiety and threatening your well-being? Perhaps it's your nose. Perhaps you need to name your nose, identify your nose. So what I am doing is actually naming one nose. So I identify one and it's a five letter word and you may know it because some people say that it's like a rocking chair. It keeps you rocking, but takes you nowhere. Maybe you got it. That's a clue. Some of you know what it is. So let's move to it. Worry, that word worry, five letter words worry. And it's a great mental feeling of suffering caused from disturbing thoughts. Pay attention to that, disturbing thoughts. It comes from the old English word, wagon, which usually meant to strangle. So that's the root of the word, to strangle. And that's why it is likened to a noose. Subsequently, the word harassed is added as a root word and also cause anxiety too. And we see that in our vocabulary.com. Now we understand that worry is not something that is healthy. It causes great mental suffering. Many times people are depressed. Many times people are unhealthy. Many times people get really sick. Immune system is suppressed and other diseases come, it comes out of worry, stressful feelings. So what are the causes of these disturbing thoughts? Where do they come from? The fears that we have about things, about situations, sometimes situations that do not even exist, 
but we perceive them. The stressors, the triggers of the stressors and, 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 and the perceptions of our challenges. So yes, they may be real perceptions and they may be real challenging, yes, but how we, our world view of them can determine whether we worry or whether we find solution to them. The problems that we have, the troubles, the inconveniences, sometimes there are real needs and we, we have losses, we have lost someone, we lost something. There are real situations. However, the worry cause great mental suffering and exacerbate the problem. So we are saying lose the nose. Now the nature of the great mental suffering it really derives from a spirit. It's a spirit that pervades and perverts thoughts and feelings. It's a negative spirit. It is a spirit that comes to destroy, a spirit that comes to take away your health. Yes, and it's an evil destructive influence and it sucks like a parasite because it doesn't want to leave and that is why people come depressed that's why people become suicidal because they are going through these kind of negative debilitating thoughts and not able to help themselves great mental suffering and some persons feel like it makes no sense me being here because they can't find a solution for the problem now the purpose of worry is really to target your mind to debilitate, cripple your mind, to put you in a state of helplessness, to tease it, to seize it, to steal it, to bite it, to shake it violently and to destroy you ultimately. And that is what we are saying, loose your nose. Unless the nose is loose, that strangling thing is loose, then we're going to be suffering under the great mental suffering. Now, what I'd like for us to know, though, is that this is part one of Lose Your News. And for part two, it's coming just behind this one. So what I'd like for you to do, thumbs up, subscribe, share. Don't forget, part two is coming where we can give you the steps, the strategy, how to lose your news. And we want you to like this one. We want you to subscribe to this one and we want you to share the information and look out in a few minutes, you will have part two. Bless you.